at 10. People in Independence are picking up the pieces tonight after a deadly explosion sends debris flying at an ammunition plant. You can see the power of the blast from these images that Chopper 5 captured earlier today. And tonight, we do know that one employee is dead. KCTV 5's Rudy Harper is live on the scene with what we're learning about this plant's history with safety problems. Rudy? That's right, Brad, and we know right now this plant has been fined for workplace safety issues at least three times according to records. And tonight we know there's significant damage and the ATF will be out here for some time. The explosion killed an employee. This is a sacrifice they make to support our country and I'm humbled by the ultimate sacrifice this employee made today. Four other workers were evaluated and released by a medical team at the plant. Chopper 5 was hovering over where the blast happened. You can see debris and emergency response teams in the area. The explosion was inside a primer manufacturing facility that provides small caliber munition. ATF is leading an investigation into what went wrong. It's not going to be a, a quick answer to this. We're going to have to go through the steps very methodically, very carefully, like we always do. Ham says there's a significant amount of damage. We've got several agents on the ground here. We're bringing in more expertise from ATF throughout the country, uh, bringing in some explosive specialists, some explosive chemists. This is the second person to die at the plant since 1990. A worker was killed while preparing a primer mixture. And in 2011, six workers were hurt. One employee was flown to a hospital for treatment. Making ammunition is dangerous work, and our employees risk their lives to protect our men and women in uniform. And the plant's nearly 1,800 employees were sent home after today's explosion and were told to call in before they returned to work. At this time, the name of that employee that was killed today has not been released. Live in Independence, I'm Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News. Rudy, thank you. Tonight, state leaders are reacting to news of this deadly explosion. Senator Claire McCaskill released a statement offering her condolences, saying, I'll remain in close touch with the Army as we determine how this tragic incident occurred and how we can ensure employee safety. To get breaking news as it happens, just download the KCTV 5 News app. There you'll find updates on this story and many more. That app is free on Apple and Android devices.